After the student has created a skating track, a number of graphs can be displayed to show the energy changing from kinetic to potential and back. Here, for example, a pie graph is shown above the skater, and the entire pie is, of course, the total energy, which remains constant. We can show a similar concept with a bar graph, with the total energy in uh, yellow remaining cons constant and uh, kinetic and potential changing back and forth. My favorite graph is the energy versus position graph, which follows the skater back and forth. And it's interesting that the uh, graph of potential energy perfectly matches the shape of the skater track, while the kinetic energy graph is its inverse. The final graph is an energy versus time graph. And uh, in this, we can see cycle after cycle. We can see the repetitive nature of the, uh, the graph. And uh, uh, with a larger graph, we would see the total energy remaining the same at 6,900 joules. Uh, there's a thermal graph also at zero, which would show friction, although friction is, is not uh, uh, turned on at this moment. All of the graphs can be recorded and played back for discussion or for inclusion in a, uh, a student assignment or report. So again, this is Energy Skate Park. It's a great tool for uh, fourth grade up to twelfth grade. Fourth grade to just construct a graph and discuss, and twelfth grade to get into the graphing and numerical equations.